Well, we are following through this morning on a grant that will allow further development of Public Square, turning it into a vibrant space for events, visitors, and neighbors. Downtown Cleveland Inc. has been awarded $100,000, and it comes at a good time, too. Sherwin-Williams is going to open its new headquarters in Public Square very soon. News Bryn Bryn Caswell joins us live from the square right now. Now, Bryn, you've been following through on this story. Is this money going towards some of the changes people want to see downtown? Yes, eventually it will. So a month ago, I covered how downtown Cleveland is thriving, unlike many other downtowns across the country. Since the pandemic, resident population has increased over 12% and foot traffic has increased over 80%. So what's at the center of all this? Well, it is Public Square. And while Public Square is great, it's on its way to becoming amazing. And this new grant money will go towards that effort over the next couple years. Cleveland's public square is the blueprint for many cities across the country, exhibiting the fact that downtowns can indeed flourish again. Public square isn't just the, the heart of downtown Cleveland. It, in many ways, it's, it's the front porch for the city and the entire region. President and CEO of Downtown Cleveland Incorporated, also known as DCI, Michael Deemer is working to keep public square at the forefront of city living, working, and play. It's a great example of the impact that high quality public spaces can have on a community and on a neighborhood. Uh, and you know, Public Square has had that impact in downtown. DCI was recently awarded a $100,000 grant by project for public spaces. It's a New York City based nonprofit that will work with DCI to make Public Square a better multi-purpose use space with visitor resources, not just a park or RTA bus line hub like it is now. The idea is uh, to have a, a hub uh, where people can easily access information about what's going on in the square, what's coming up uh, in public square, and uh, also to make it easier to hold events. It might be a place where we can have supplies uh, to keep the uh, space activated. Part of the grant will go towards enhancing programming. Think possibly more live music and festivals throughout the year including removing the eyesore tan road barriers. We've been uh, working with the, the group plan commission in the city of Cleveland uh, for a, a number of months on a plan to uh, remove uh, those uh, barriers and uh, replace them with uh, some something equally secure but more aesthetically pleasing that uh, blends into the environment better. Uh, and we, we will have a lot more to say about that in the coming weeks as well. Despite some off-putting situations at Public Square last year, like the Christmas tree lighting shooting, Deemer says none of the grant money will go towards increased security efforts, but adds DCI is working with the city of Cleveland to improve safety. It's uh, a high priority for downtown Cleveland Inc. to make sure that we've got that safe, secure environment that makes people want to come in and enjoy Public Square. Downtown Cleveland Inc. needs your help, though. They've posted a survey online because they want residents' opinions on how to move forward with some of these changes. I've posted a link to that survey on our website at news5cleveland.com. Mike. Bryn, we know you live downtown, and you've said that downtown, of course, would be a perfect spot to have a target, or at least maybe a city target. We know those are the smaller ones, and you just happened to be on a target run yesterday, so uh, this is something you clearly would like to see. I would love a Target. So I asked Downtown Inc. about this and they told me a new downtown retail plan was approved late last year. And a lot of these potential retailers wanted to see the downtown population exceed 20,000 residents, which has happened. So you know what that means? That means some exciting new retailers may be coming here sooner than we think. Fingers crossed. All right, Brent, nice to see you this morning. Thank you.